So in the previous lecture, we took a backup of our database. And in this lecture, we're going to be demonstrating how you can restore a backup. So you want to ensure that you're on the automated backup page or tab. Select the backup that you want to restore. Now this is where your last restorable point is important. Let's say after 942, we created a table in the database. Let's do that right now. So you can expand your database, right? And I'm just going to create a quick sample table within the Postgres public schema. So I'm going to create a table. So I'm just going to call this test, right? And select save. That's it. And here I have a test table. Now let's minimize. Now I'm going to select action and then select restore to point in time. Now remember when Amazon RDS takes a snapshot of your database or a backup, it backs up the entire instance. So when it's doing the restore, it's basically going to create an entire instance. And during this time, you have the option to specify a different database instance identifier for your DB. Now for the restore time, you can select the latest restorable time or you can select a custom date and time where you want to restore your database to, right? Now all these settings are the settings that you'll pretty much select when you are creating your DB. Now what we want to specify here is the DB identifier. So I'm just going to call this Udemy Restore. So I'm just going to scroll down, right? All the configuration will be same as what was backed up. So here I'm going to select restore to point in time. So on the databases page, you can see that Udemy restore is being created. So basically it's creating a new instance from the backup we took. In the next lecture, we're going to be taking a look at creating snapshots.